Welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall, my friend, where we attack again with our Kirko on the highest difficulty and take out this strange quartzite marauder guard. We'll see if we can defeat them. We have the higher power by far, but they always have the chance to eliminate one of our guys. Let's hope they don't make it. Let's go. This is Immanuel Khan and... Yeah, you're watching the channel. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> they are coming. Let's see what they can do to us. Let's see. They have Wild Bash and Stagger units. There's Hyper Armor. Sling Arc Crystal. That sounds dangerous. Grow a chunk of crystal -like arc, a crystallized arc, damaging units in a one hex radius. <sighs> Ooh, no. These guys have that chain discharge. Jumps to one extra dis. Ooh. I'm really not looking forward to the encounter, especially against that guy at a tier 3 elite. This thing is a recruit. Skirmisher. Hmm. These guys are definitely easier to take out. 25. And this one has 60. 60 hit points. A lot more dangerous as well. It can move here. What is the range of this thing? Oh! That's a range. Let's see. Ignores line of sight penalties. Cooldown 1. My god, we shouldn't have attacked. <laughs> this is crazy. Mm. How can we stop this guy? Seriously, how? I think we need to move back a little bit behind these rocks. Yeah, that's, that's just what we want to do. I mean, this ignores line of sight penalties, but does it ignore cover? It should not be able to ignore cover. Well, we have the hidden Kirko here that can do something, but only later. Let's see. I think we should move behind the cover. I think that's, that's the strategy we have. <laughs> In position! Lure the wind split us up the two teams ooh, ooh, ooh. well maybe behind this oh that's a retreat point I mean, that's a little bit too too much this rock is probably indestructible too. Yeah, it is. It is. Anyways, we want to move into a good position with this guy here, probably. Then have these guys protecting us here and flying unit. Um, He's come here or here. That's the retreat point. We don't want to go there. Mm, this way. Defense mode. Defense mode. Defense mode. We could go overwatch mode or defense mode evasion. Defense mode and defense mode and end turn. Let's hope for the best. Uh -huh. Out of sight. Yeah, I can get, can hit here. It's I just I just wanna. 
I just want to defend right now. Now we're talking. Discharge is missed. Thankfully, this guy has been moving only. He's not throwing. Which is good. These guys have hyper armor. This one has not. And they're inside. Now the going gets tough. We could move in here and destroy some armor. Might be the best option. We could hit both of them, probably. Let's see. No, we cannot hit them. That thing. Have to move in closer. Like here. Then go full force. Well. <laughs> so that would be our strategy probably moving in debuffing with battle vomit let's see what can we do with the unleash mm. that just does damage adds no debuffing what do we have with pause we could go for that attack on them as well. Does some side damage, will stagger units, and will bypass all armor. We could do that first, to remove the defensive mode of hyper armor. Ooh. Mm, a single action. It needs, and not much time. I think we'll have to try that out. We'll have to go for it. The range on this thing. Not a very high range. Basically a range of one. If we move here, we can reach... Uh, one, two, three... I think we can reach that. So, post knorr Ah, we cannot, but we can reach this big bad boy. At least that. Five stones of dissonance. So let's try to remove that. It didn't remove the hyper armor though. I think. Well, let's go closer now. Mm. Yeah, one distance of the move again. Move in here because we have no choice. Here we go. Did hit quite okay. Mm. I'll have to move this way. Had the swarm shield too. That is quite good. Nice, and now, and now. We go for more gunk shots, let's see. Mm. Wouldn't be too bad, eh? Out of range here, though. Mm. Does this thing do... Yeah, it does side damage. It bypasses all armor. There's an obstacle that provides cover. We can move here, so we're out of a little bit of impact from that quartzite. 
and then shoot. In the blue area then. Well, 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 well. Probably not that bad. I uh, Ravage is so bad against this guy. I have to see that we can at least eliminate that liquid crystal guy here. Only though with a gunk shot. Can we do this? Enemy killed. Very nice. Ah, we did that. That's so good. Bins mode. Yeah, one more gunk shot will be good. But from where? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. This is hitting air units. Massive impact. Ooh. That doesn't sound great. Right from here. Ugh. <laughs> That's not the best way. <laughs> well, at least a little bit. We've done all we could in turn. Yeah, we're staggered. Now we're getting the shots too of the chain discharge. Oh goodness, that's not great. But we're in this together. Post Knorr. We are on we have the frenzied here. Move in and do some rending claws. I'm not sure I want that. We've got the soul spare. Can't we hit here? Yeah, we can. We can hit. And it's pretty good. Oh, let's do that first. Broken Mind. We also have the Hidden Kirko here. It will help massively against this. Enemy eliminated. Nice. Now these guys here. We could send them away, really. Send these guys forward a little bit. Behind this cover. And these guys should march back so they are, we're not losing them. We have these guys. We could attack. Ravage. We could gunk shot. If we move once, we could gunk shot three times. Mm, I think we can risk it. I'm not sure. Let's see. They can do damage. Three times seven. Three times seven is 21. Mm, it does three times six, so it should not kill us. Move in once. Mm, it moves through the obstacle, so I'm not really sure. It only does three times six, so maybe... Let's try this out. Still out of range. All right, all right. We got to risk it for the biscuit.
Hmm. Moving here. The swarm shield going and another gunk shot. Good, good, good. I think that was the round. Here we go. Hope for the best. That's mysterious. Not hitting us at all. Well, eat those rending claws. Enemy <laughs> destroyed. Our forces are victorious. Nice. We didn't even lose anything. You attacked the Marauder Guard and won. Very nice. Very, very nicely done. Production resources moved to Dnuzril. What should we build? The central replicator factory, I think. We don't need the standard military infrastructure yet, I think. So let's go for that. The resources. And soon it will grow. And then we can claim one more sector. Either Flickerwit Ridge or... Well, I don't know. Probably rather Rebelwood. Let's move with our hero. Oh, we need <laughs> aquatic deployment. Well then, move around a bit. With each new hatch, the colony continues to proliferate. Still, there are some of my brethren that know a deeper hunger. An ancient case that is insatiable and can instill even our own kind with fear. And they devour our enemies to strengthen the swarm. They resonate with our growth and we nurture their appetite. Objective completed. Very good. We get an, an engulfer and a transcendent. We'll of course take the reward. The voice of hunger. There are more ancient Kirko waiting to get fed. Push your colony further, so they can still the hunger of the ravenous. Wow. 90 plus food. That's crazy. Hmm. Well, in, in this area, I could really imagine another... another colony. So let's see what we're building here. Yeah, we have that one here. We have that one. Transcendent. How about you? Moving. This direction. And you get these mysterious units. Armies merged. Move into Rebel One. One more colonists, yes. That was also for moving in the next round. But we can take that. Wait one turn here. You can also, you can not move. Okay, then let's end the turn. Well, wait, um, after that we really want to go for a colonizer, but we need to wait a little bit for Cosmite. Oh look, Doctrine Enacted, Dream Doctrine Sharing. Sharing the past memories of our great warriors with a Kirko that fight at the forefront helps them to improve more rapidly. 25% experience from combat. And Nuzril can annex another sector. Very nice. Uh, this one. Rebelwood. Can we now? Yes. Next, the sector. Or Nuzril will get the research station once. We've gotten it. Can we move or is it... Yeah, we can. So... Ready, my friends. We have regeneration. What is that? Oh yeah, research complete. Nice. 
fail, but our enslavers' technology outpaced their lack of offspring. They healed their wounded, despite their cast. We must mimic our enslavers, replacing our natural instinct to consume the swarm's weakest and heal them instead. Oh, a new research. And we must heal our people. That seems nice. Are we in the military? Yes. Biochemical applications. Foreboding darkness. Tactical operations and mark of the dark sun. Mm, acidic composite. Yeah, 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 yeah. We want to try that. It's quite good. And I think we should take the station against these wild swift beaks hopper hound man wild shrike another wild shrike manual combat here we go go for another glorious combat move strategically i hope i mean we should be able to win this without oh. losing anything but you never know like going defensive mode a lot has really made our day often. The Hopper Hound has air leap. It has a combat jump. Even a little bit further away. And the claw strike. Okay. We have this guy. An axe beak. Mm, and then these airborns as a swoop and beaks. So they are all melee units. See? All melee. And where is our people? Here and here. We should probably... Um, how far can they move? Yeah, they can move quite... Quite a bit. We should get into cover positions and wait for them. Let's done ourselves quite well. We move here. And we'll have the hidden one. Hide him here. And one of the unleashed will probably park him here. Go and shield. Defensive modes here and here we have, oh, we have a transcendent, the medium range psionic attack. Also, quite interesting. We have courage die weak. Should be good if we move him right like this way or something. And here or here would be nice, probably. Transcendence. Have an engulfer. Can that thing do? Caustic smoke destroys one armor plate. Acid cloud. Really nice. This one is one of the frenzied cocos. We move into this position. Operations ready. 
Are they not moving or what? <laughs> or do you want them to come closer? You really want that? Are they moving now? Yeah, now now one of them is moving. Got the Overwatch. Waiting is so powerful. Mm. Thankfully, we have a flying unit. The Unleashed. They are very good against other flying units. Now let's eliminate this one. This cobble. Hopper Hound Man Hunter. Mm. We can have a side rifle shot at that. Just like that. With the frenzy it can. Go on, I mean, okay, they have Overwatch, but... Enemy annihilated. Not any longer. The Transcendent Kirko can go this way. Let's see what we can do then. A size Strike, medium range, sonic attack. <laughs> Chaboom! Missed. Well, things happen. Some more rending claws on this. Yeah, I don't think we need to debuff. Raw damage is the way. There we go, and flanking even. Enemy eliminated. And ravage a bit here. Really good at that. Soul spare. Things out of sight. Can we reach it? Yeah. Enemy here annihilated. We go. And then... Enemy Here we go. The enemies of the Hive have been defeated. Indeed. Triumphant battle. I don't think we were even wounded. Here we go. And we get some research. Take the reward. What can I say? Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in another coming episode of Age of Wonders Planetfall, where we explore this map further and maybe look forward into maybe creating, creating another colony, maybe here or here. It will be very useful and maybe gain the strength to take the Xivotac farm. See you soon, have a great time until then, and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out.